Okay. My sound have is being a f***ing retarded piece of and taking me completely the wrong f way. Uh, now it's trying to make me go down some mental gravel track. So I'm going to start the filming from here and we're just going to go that way and see where it takes us because roads have been pretty nice so far. There's no way I'm going down a f***ing gravel track. Right. Garmin, you need to sort out, you The route I intended to drive for stage 5 was down the GC120, GC65 and GC60, which is in yellow on the map. But I think the route I actually drove was down the GC131 and the motorway, the GC1, both ending up at the Mirador de Degalada de las Yaguas. Literally pre-programmed all of the routes into the San Av. It's just taking the wrong f***ing way, it's a joke. Clouds, but now I think we're below them again.
take me half an hour to... Yeah, half an hour to go there. It'll take three miles, eh? Nice. Nice views off the side. Hopefully Garmin's still recording. Garmin. GoPros are still recording. Do you get them? Some ESP there, some kind of stability to the coal in a way. Stop there from the de 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 It's just gibberish. This viewpoint can be found on the western border of the Maquiso di Amurga and overlooks the Barranco di Fataga, a ravine that was carved out of lava flows of phonolithic rocks which occurred during the final phases of the first volcanic cycle in Gran Canaria around 12 million years ago. From this mirador we can also see many examples of the semi-desert-like vegetation that is typical of the lower areas of Gran Canaria, such as the sweet tababa plant, which produces a rubber sap, which when dry can be used as a chewing gum, and the cardon, which is a cactus-like plant that is important for maintaining biodiversity in the area by protecting other plants from the animals that graze the land. Other plants include the canary palm tree and the Gran Canaria dragon tree, which is a rare species unique to the island and can be found in the nearby ravines and gullies. This is potentially one of the dragon trees and according to a nearby sign, it only grows in this valley. I gave Stage 5 of the Retrolabs Aventura de Gran Canaria a score of 56 points, mainly because of the long sections of motorway. The score of 56 points put Stage 5 into 5th place, just above the route I used to get to the start of the adventure. The score of 56 points is nowhere near enough to make it onto our overall leaderboard. Can any more routes from the adventure make it on? Subscribe to find out! Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Retro Labs Aventura de Gran Canaria.